Yes. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you very much, Rabbi. Uh, thank you for inviting me. I hope I don't let you down. Uh, subject is long. I'm per half, and I can go on for a long time. Rabbi, we talk, we have a standard tool, Mashadi. If the meeting gets, if my talk is boring, if you have to catch a train, I don't get insulted, walk out, it's okay. If it gets too boring, you say the two Mashadi word for Cut it short. You know what the, 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 those are? Uh, Chazak Baruch. You get the signal that you have to wrap it up. You have to do it. I'm going to cut through all the normal introduction and details today. I always hear people tell me Chazak Baruch. <laughs> What they meant, now I realize. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to get to the core of the subject that I'm going to talk about today. Uh, about 60, 65 years ago, I was at the, in Mashhad at the time. I think Mr. Demonian was also there in Mashhad today. What happened was, the normal argument occurs between a fellow Mashadi and a Muslim man. As usual, this was a heated argument. And as a standard of the time, the argument gets into physical. That was also normal. Yes. Also, was normal was some, usually these arguments after physical, one or two, both parties pull a knife and stab the other one. But was, what was unusual about this argument was Muslim guy, as usual, pull out the knife, but accuses a Jew, fellow Jew, of stabbing him. So to Cut through all the red tape that I usually do. Hear what happened. The news come out that Mr. Musa Rafi, the alleged perpetrator, has stabbed this Muslim victim, alleged victim, in the head. Now, never mind that Mr. Rafi is five four feet, two, three inches, and alleged victim is six feet. Plus. So at any time there is was a physical stabbing or something, they take him straight to jail. No police station, they take him to jail. That's when the, this committee, this, this, this uh, group that they were in charge, come into action. My father used to be in charge of, if anyone is court case and or jail. So what they do is they have a meeting after services, and then when they hear the news, so they decided, and also it so it happened that the, this, 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 this um, Mr. Rafi, the guy that was accused of stabbing the Muslim man, good personal friend of my father. So he says, okay, I'm going to handle it, don't worry. So they have a meeting, and they decide to meet the next morning. O always when they had these problems, whoever was in charge, had a deputy, younger person, what we call today, I call a deputy, what we call today, an intern. So they have a meeting, he tells the intern, go to his home, get some food, meet me in my office at 11 o'clock tomorrow morning, that's the visiting hour it is, we go to jail to see what we can do for him. I want you to know something about the situation in Mashhad. In Mashhad, besides Policemen, the judges, the district, the attorneys, and all those people that Mashadi knew and always greased them up. There was a group of Farsis called Trahokesh. You all know what it is. It's like a gang. I have a list of six of the, these gang members of the time. And usually they were troublemakers, but Mashadi is being so smart, they were also on the payroll. So they worked out as a uh, protection for them. So protection. 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 So what 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 they did was, my father told him, meet me in my office, eleven o'clock in the morning. He went at, he went around the marketplace to find out if any of these six people are are in jail. Why? Because as you all know, in every prison in the world. Once you're in, in jail, once in your, you're in prison, you could be harmed, not by the authorities, but fellow yeah, jail, prison members. So he finds out, yes, one of those people is there. He goes the next morning, 11 o'clock, they meet, the inter has the kosher food, 
they go to prison and tell them, okay, go there, tip, guard them a little bit, tell them you got the food for such and such a person, visit them and tell them that I'm in charge now, don't worry, we'll get you out soon. And he asked for visiting who? The gang member. The gang member is, comes out, usually the prisoners were tall walls, front or fence, so they, that's how they meet through those fences. The minute the, 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 the gang member sees my father, wow, what a surprise! Standard Toro, Mr. Sabzawari, what a pleasure! What do I owe this pleasure to you? No, I heard that you're in prison. I want to make sure everything is okay. Slip him a $20 bill, whatever the currency is. Uh, if you go get yourself a pack of cigarettes, whatever. What you, okay, thank you very much. Anything I can do for you? Yes, by the way, by the way, you know, one of our bachelor, huh? one of our kids are in, the, in jail. Make sure that you take care of him. They got before my father finishes sending the gold, I go back there, bring Mr. Musarafi under his arm like a child. <laughs> this is the man. I cannot say, if I say, I can tell it's top, like, exactly like him. This is the kid that you want me to protect? He says, yes, don't worry. He's on my, uh, uh, I'm going to take care of him. Don't worry about it. So they go, now this part is done. Then they go to the county clock. They go to the county, they go to county clock, they see the county clock, also grease them up a little bit, they know each other, uh, finds out about the case, he said, no, this case, because uh, there was a stabbing involved, we have a, uh, it's, it has gone to the district attorney. Who is the district attorney? The district attorney was also on the payroll, so to speak. <laughs> but he says, oh, so to, to, he said to, to my father, you know, this is a new district attorney. We don't know. You don't know him. Do I know anything about him? No. Can you give me his home address? No, well, I don't know. Okay, another 20. Okay, this is his home address. That night, he, my father goes to his home. Rings the bell. Young boy comes. Yes, can I help you? Uh, I'm, here, I'm here to see your father. What's your name? I Zulas Abzuwari. He goes, comes back two minutes later. Young man comes, very polite, stands up to roof. All that, he writes him inside. This is what they learn what to do. And obviously, he had money, cash in his pocket. And, and all the cash that he was involved, all the tipping, I want you to know it came from a community fund. Nobody put, a, put up his own money. Uh, yes, can I help you? Uh, my father is checking out the, the apartment. Man, oh man, that's the worst thing that he could see. Spotless, but it's, the furniture is like, that's what, uh, that's furnished at uh, Ikea. Uh -huh. Carpeting clean, but you can tell it's cheap carpeting studio apartment. That's a very bad news. This thing the attorneys, everybody in the world, they don't make a lot of money. The fact that the apartment doesn't look fancy at all, it means you cannot buy this person. And that's the worst news that it could happen. So he doesn't know what to do. He invites him in, sit, they sit down, right away young boy comes and puts two cups of tea in front of him and He's thinking where to start. All of a sudden, the district attorney tells him, if you are here to talk about a court matter, I want you to know ahead of time. I do not discuss anything regarding any court matter outside the, outside the court. Man, oh man, that's the worst news that they get, could hear. So what is he doing? He doesn't know what to do. It's the first time it happened. By the way, usually 95% of these people could be born. This was one of the five percent. He doesn't know what to do. It's the first time it happened to him. He puts his head down. Meanwhile, the district attorney tells him, please, drink your tea. Doesn't say a word. He's thinking, he's thinking. Please, have your tea. Nothing, not a word. He's planning what to do here. What to do. So finally, he came up with an idea. This idea was a better revolutionary. If it pisses him off, he's going to kick him out of his home. 
But he figures he doesn't have any other option. That's the only thing I have. After five minutes that he not, he's not saying a word, and the district attorney is, has told him several times to have a tea. He gets up, looks at the district attorney in the eye, and he tells him, the translation would be today is this. I would never break bread with someone who's not willing to give me five minutes of his time to listen to what I have to say. That hits it. Now that hits it. Right court with the district attorney. Now the ball is on the district attorney's court. No one has ever talked to him like that. He takes him a minute and he tells him, Okay, I'll give you five minutes, but I give you, I promise you, it's not going to affect any case that I have in the, in the court. He says, I don't want you to do that. All I want you to do is to just listen to five minutes. Shoot. I listen to you. My father goes on for 15 minutes. I guess I inherited that from him. <laughs> <laughs> After 15 minutes, he drinks his tea, he gets up, thanks to the attorney, and goes. The next day, they go to court to see what's going on. He knew the clerk. He goes to the uh, clerk and tells him, I'm Aizolos Abzwari, I'm a friend of uh, Mr. Rafi. I wonder what's going on, what time is court here? He says, uh, you know, this, this is the attorney was here this morning and had a meeting with the with the alleged victim for 20 minutes. After that, I don't know what happened. He came back and he signed some papers. Says this case has no merit. We're gonna wow. send him home in 10 minutes. Wow. A month later, this this is the runs to my just sees my father in the marketplace. And he, goes, he tells after the usual standard of uh, Taro, he tells him, you know, you were the only person in this country that did not try to, try to bribe me. If you would have bribed me on that, they will offer to bribe me. Your friend would have still been in jail. With that, I know I have to cut short. With that, I'm not going into the details. Chazal Baruch to everyone. Thank you very much for listening.